Now this really has to be one of the best applications I've ever showcased on my channel since my channel started and not only does it work amazingly on any Fire Stick, even second generation, but it also works on your Nvidia Shield, on your Dynalink boxes, really any device that supports ADB. We can now use this amazing application really just to get the most from our device. So what does it actually do? Well, I would say it's like a Swiss army knife of an application. So everything from installing applications to removing applications to doing complete backups and restore of the care application. I can bring up an ADB shell. I can even use a virtual control pad. So we can see I have a virtual remote control. So when I press right, we can see in the background, those buttons are being sent to my 4K Fire Stick. And if I press the home key, that should take us straight back into home. And that's really just the tip of the iceberg because the application just has so many amazing features built in. It's absolutely free. It works across all of your Android devices and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So whichever device you want to manage through ADB Link, the only thing you have to do is just go over to your settings, go into My Fire TV, and just ensure that you have ADB debugging enabled. Once you've done that, the last thing you need to confirm is what's your current IP address. So we can press back on the remote, go into about, and we can confirm inside network that my IP address ends in 94. Let's back out of this. Let me now open up ADB Link. Now, when you start ADB Link for the first time, it can look a bit daunting because there's so many buttons, so many different menu options, but the application is actually really easy to use. Now, I recommend clicking on New because we're going to create a profile for every device that we want to manage. So when you click on New, you then see this screen. So here we just want to confirm that we are connecting to an Android device. We can give it a name. So in my example, I'm going to be managing my 4K Fire Stick, type that in, and the address, which is the most important part, I'm gonna enter in my IP address, which was 192.168.0.94. The rest we can just leave as defaults for now. I can now click on Save. And we can see now in the drop-down box, I can select my device. And we can see I've already created profiles for my second generation Fire TV Cube, my Nvidia Shield, my Chromecast with Google TV, and even my Dynalink box. So really, as long as your device is running Android and you can enable ADB, you can use this application on that. So let's click on Fire Stick, and let me now click on Connect. And we can see here that we have an IP connection to our 4K Fire Stick. Now, the first time you do this from your computer or from your Mac, you will see a prompt on the Fire Stick or whichever device you're using just asking you to authorize that connection. So click on always allow and okay, and you'll then have a connection from ADB link onto your device. So the first cool thing we can do with ADB link is to install multiple applications at the same time. So you don't need to install one application, then go back, select the next one and install that and go back and select the next one. You can literally just highlight all of the applications you want to push, press one button, and all of them will be installed on your device. So that really is one of the best features with this application and something I've been using a lot recently. So let's click on install APK. So here are two applications that I previously downloaded. So we have App Cloner and we have TV Mate. So I'm gonna highlight both of those and click on OK. Actually, before I click on yes, let me just go onto my Fire Stick. Let me go into applications, just so you guys can see what applications are already installed. And let's go to the bottom of that list. Okay, so the last thing in the list here is the Dang Bay Assistant, which is this thing here. Let me now click on yes. Give that a second. So now those applications are being pushed to my device. When they land on my device, they'll then be automatically installed. So let's see if that works first time. And as I previously mentioned, I've been using this extensively because it really makes the testing and trying out applications so much easier. And there we can just see the first prompt that TV Mate is now installed. And we see the second prompt saying app cloner is now installed. So do give a thumbs up for that guys, because it really just makes the whole application installation process 
so much easier because we can just go in and select all the applications we want to push, one click, and they'll all be sent to your device. Let's now click on OK. So that's the first thing. Of course, you can also uninstall applications. So if I click on uninstall, this will now do a scan of all the applications installed on my device and allow me to uninstall them. So we can also search here as well. So let's just search for a clone and see if we can find the app cloner, which is the last application I installed. There it is. I can now click on that, click on OK. So do you want to uninstall application? Let's click on yes. Let's see if the icon removes. And there we have it guys. So super easy to install applications and also remove them. And if any of you guys are still with me, then if you like this video and leave the comment hashtag firestick, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. The next cool thing we can do is to browse the file manager on our device. So if I click on file manager, this then shows me the file system of my 4K Fire Stick. And of course, whichever device you're connected to, you'll see the file system of that. So for example, we can see some of my folders. Here's my downloader folder. I can go into that. And this shows you some of the stuff I previously downloaded. And now for example, I can click on something and I can copy that to my computer. I can also delete something. So if I don't want this APK installer anymore, I can click on delete. So do you want to delete that file? And that's now removed that file from my downloader folder. And what's also really special is if I go up a few folders and go into storage, I can actually see the USB drive that's plugged into my Fire Stick at the moment. So, which is this one over here. And we can see I've got a few folders, my Android folder, my trailers folder. If I open that up, and here we can see some of the content I've got on my uh, USB drive. So again, you can fully manage the internal storage of your 4K Fire Stick, but also any USB drive you've plugged in, you can also manage the content in that. Just so many cool features, guys. I mean, here, for example, we can see my screen server started. I can also go to utility, go to set timers, and I can now adjust the sleep timeout and also the screen saver timeout just by adjusting the values in here. And these are currently written in milliseconds. Let's close that down. If I want to use a virtual remote control, so I don't want to use my device remote control, I can just click on keypad here. This then brings up a virtual remote control. So I can now, for example, um, press up. And we can see in the background, those commands are being sent to my device. I've already mentioned the backup and restore feature of this application, whereby if you are using the care application, you've got your custom themes, your custom backgrounds, your custom add-ons and all that good stuff, then I can literally just back up all of that configuration into a single zip file by clicking on this button here. I can then make another connection to another device uh, like my Chromecast, click on connect. I can then click on restore and then push all of that custom configuration, all of those add-ons and everything else onto that new device. So it really makes the configuration process of the care application just so much easier by using this backup and restore feature. And we also have some of the more advanced features up here, but um, I think if you don't know what you're doing, then leave these features alone and just stick to the tried and tested ones that I've demonstrated in this video today. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. And I really hope you guys can see why this application really is a powerhouse of an application that we can use across all of our devices. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.